we want to uh, uh, give you at this time. First of all, the, uh, the food outreach for tomorrow uh, has been postponed. Uh, Sister Nikki is uh, enjoying that new grandbaby, and so she's, uh, uh, amen, praise the Lord. So she's spending time with Hannah and that new grandbaby. Uh, also, uh, CWA's family dinner night is Tuesday, June the 20th at 6 p.m., at Larry's Pizza. So be sure and bring plenty of money so your pastor can eat, okay? Praise the Lord. WM's uh, painting class with Sister April Hoke is Saturday, June the 24th at 10 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall, and there's a sign-up sheet in the back uh, for that. Also, WM's Christmas in July Hygiene Drive uh, for the Compact Ministries in Hot Springs for those uh, that are there at Compact, and the deadline to turn those things in or is July the 9th, and if you have any questions on that, you can see Sister Kaylin for more information on that. Will, glory. Are you ready to have church this yeah. morning? Amen. To have uh, church and have Jesus, yeah. amen, here today. Praise yeah. the Lord. Would you stand? Let's invite the presence of the Lord in this house. Gracious Father, we thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to be in this house today. Lord, we realize, O oh God, that we're nothing without you, Lord, that we need you, O oh God, and Lord, in every area of our lives, O oh God, we need that holy anointing, the power of your Spirit. 
Lord, to move in us and through us and to bless us and to help us. Oh, God, I pray that, Lord, that you'd anoint and you'd touch every word and every song that is sang, Lord. Lord, that you'd minister and move in every heart and in every life. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day, oh, God. And we give you all the praise in Jesus' precious name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. And amen. If you would turn around and give everybody a big howdy wave this morning as Brother Bob comes today. Sing it, Bobby. I have found his grace is all complete. He supplies every need While I sit and learn at Jesus' feet I am free, it's free indeed It is joy unspeakable and full Of glory full, of glory full, of glory It is joy unspeakable and full Of glory over high has never yet been told I have found the pleasure I once great It is joy and peace within What a wondrous blessing I am saved From the awful God of sin It is joy unspeakable and full Glory full of glory full of glory in his joy unspeakable and full of glory overhang as never yet been told I have found that hope so bright and clear living in the realms of grace Oh the Savior's present is so near I can see his smiling face. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory over high and never yet been told. I have found the joy no tongue can tell. It's way of glory roll It is like a great overflowing well Bring up within my soul It is joy unspeakable and full Of glory full Of glory full Of glory It is joy unspeakable and full Of glory all the high been told. That is true. Hallelujah. There was a time on earth when in the book of heaven, no no to come was standing, for sin yet forgiven. My name was at the top, and many things below. I went under the keeper. I said long ago, long ago, long ago. Yes, the old account was settled long ago. And the record till day, all you walked my sins away. When the old account was settled long ago, the old account was large and growing every day. For I was always sinning and never tried to pay. But when I look at him, it's all just pain and woe. I said that I would settle, and I settled long ago, long ago, long ago. Yes, the old account was settled long ago, and the record's clear today. Oh, he washed my sins away when the old account was settled long ago. When in that happy home, my Savior's home above, I'll sing redemption stories, and I praise Him for His love. I'll not forget that book, with pages wide as though, because I gave it settled. I settled long ago, long ago, long ago. 
Yes, the old count was settled long ago And the records here today Oh, he washed my sins away When the old count was settled long ago Oh, sinner, seek the Lord Repent of all your sins Oh, does he has commanded Of you would enter in And if you would live A hundred years below I bear you not regret it You said long, long ago, long ago Long ago If the old account was settled long ago And the record clear today For he walked from sins away When the old account was settled long ago My heart was distressed, you Jehovah's great found, and low in the pit where my sin dragged me down. I cried to the Lord from the deep my clay, who tender brought me out the golden day. He brought me out of the mighty clay. He set my feet on the rock to say. He puts a song in my soul today, a song of praise, hallelujah. He placed me upon the strong rock by his side. I said, we're established, and here I'd abide. No danger of falling, I hear I remain. But stand by the grace to tell a crown I gain. If he brought me out of the miry claim, he set my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my soul today, a song of praise, hallelujah. He gave me a song, was a new song of praise. By day and by night, his sweet thoughts I will raise. My heart overflowing, happy and free. I praise my Redeemer, who is this? You be Of its wonder for mercy to me. I praise him to all men who goodness shall see. I sing of salvation and home and abroad. Till many shall hear the truth and trust in God. If he brought me out of the miry clay, he set my feet on the rock to stay. He put the salt. In my soul today, a song of praise, hallelujah. I'll tell of the pit with his gloom and despair. I pray that the Father who answered my prayer. I sing my new song, a glad story of love. Then join in the court with the saints above. If he brought me out of the mighty claim, he set my feet on the rock to stay. He puts a song in my soul today, a song of praise, hallelujah. Yes, he brought me out of the mighty claim. He set my feet on the rock to stay. He puts a song in my soul today, a song of praise, hallelujah. I never shall forget the day. All the burdens of my soul roll away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. I sing and shout for his everything to me. Yes, I never shall forget the day. All the burdens of my soul roll away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. I sing and 
is shot for his everything to me. Long years ago, when out in sin, I had no hope, no peace within. Down on my knees in agony, I cried to Jesus and he gladly set me free. Well, I never shall forget the day. Oh, the burdens of my soul roll away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. I sing it shout and more he's everything to me. Oh, now he brought me out of the miry clay. He set my feet on the rock to stay. He puts a song in my soul today. A song of praise, hallelujah. Are you glad he brought you out? Amen. He brought you out. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to go to the Lord in prayer this morning. If you would stand, let's present these to the Lord in prayer. Sister Betty Rogers and Carolyn Hotz, uh, Sister Loretta Hughes and Johnny E. Barb, uh, Rhonda Crumby, uh, Donald Burton. Uh, continue to remember Sister Patsy Bailey and, and Buddy Hammond, uh, Don Parker, uh, Charlene Lawson, Charles and Betty Amerson. We're glad they're able to be in service with us today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Also, uh, uh, V.J. Cranford needs our prayers as well. And Deborah and Larry Stanford. Deborah and Larry San Stanford. If you have a prayer request, if you just lift your hand, the Lord knows your need this morning. Let's just join together. Let's present these to the Lord. Gracious Father, we come to you, the Lord, the deliverer, O oh God, the healer, the provider of all things, O oh God, that we ever face in this life. And Lord, we present these to you today. And I pray, God, that you'd minister and move mightily, O oh God, in this house, Lord. Lord, that you, O oh God, would touch, O oh Lord, and bring healing and restoration. And let your glory be, O oh Lord, revealed in their bodies and in their lives, O oh God. For, Lord, you are faithful, O oh God. Lord, with your stripes and by your stripes, O oh God. Lord, we stand upon that promise and that precept, O oh God. And, Lord, we put our faith, our trust, and our confidence in you. I pray, God, that you, O oh Lord, would just move, Lord, in this house this morning. Lord, that you would come, Lord, and let, Lord, uh, with a divine visitation of your presence. Lord, we need you, O oh God. We need you in this place. And, Lord, we honor you, O oh God. And we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. If you would worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Even now, He's waiting for us to fall on our knees and worship. Even now, He's ready for us to lift up our hands to His name. Even now, as our praises go forth, the heavens will pour out on us, and His glory will fill this place, even now. 
you lift your hands this morning? Lord, we lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hearts and our voice to you. Lord, giving all praise, all honor, and all glory, Lord, to your precious name. Lifting you, O oh God, above the circumstance and the situations, the trials, and the tests. Lord, we know that you're faithful and just. Lord, that you, O oh God, have been faithful, Lord, to provide, O oh God. Lord, you, O oh God, rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. You made that provision for our spirit, souls, and our bodies. And we rejoice this morning. Yeah lifting you up and honoring you in this house because Lord you are faithful you are the one who never leaves you're the one who never forsakes oh God and we rejoice in you this morning lifting you up and honoring you in this house oh God move oh Lord in us and through us we joy rejoice in you hallelujah sing it again yes the like the river with streams of life flow like the river flow free flow like the river with streams of life setting your people free sing it again yes flow like the river Lord, a big hand clap of praise this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad this morning that we serve a faithful God. A faithful God. A faithful God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Joshua chapter 8 and verse 1. Joshua chapter 8 and verse 1. Would you please stand for the reading of God's word? Lots of ups and downs in a Pentecostal church, I know. Amen. Praise the Lord. Joshua 8 and 1 says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear not, neither be thou dismayed. Take all the people of war with thee, and arise and go up to Ai. See, I have given into thy hand the king of Ai, and his people, and his city, and his land. This morning I want to minister on the subject, our God given victory. Our God giving, given victory. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for the privilege to minister your precious word. Father, God, we thank you for the privilege to minister your precious word. I am, am I, okay, I didn't turn on, did I? Praise the Lord. Glory. Our God-given victory. How many knows that God has given us total victory? He's given us a vicarious victory. He suffered and died. He paid a sin's penalty for you and I. And he has wrought the victory and handed it in to our hands. Praise God. Now Joshua and the children of Israel had just defeated the city of Jericho. That well-fortified city was no match for the power and the anointing of God that was working through his people. And Jericho and, and now Ai was standing 
had been standing in the way of, of their God given inheritance and had to be destroyed and to be removed from the land. And I, I just wonder this morning, amen, what is standing in your way? What is holding you back? What mountain or what obstacle is standing between you and what God has promised you and what God has brought forth and promised you in your life? You see, we all know that we have an adversary, the devil, who goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And, and he preys on the weak and, and the worn and the weary and those who have lagged behind. Oh, I think about the story of, of when the children of Israel came out of Egypt and, and Moses was leading the people. Amen. That Deuteronomy 25 and 17, it says, Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way when you were come forth out of Egypt, how he met thee by the way and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee. When thou wast faint and weary, he feared not God. You see, as the children of Israel, God's chosen people, the mighty people of God, and they had been delivered with a great deliverance and brought out of Egypt and crossed the Red Sea and, and mighty works of God in their lives. But some of those people had grown worn and weary in well-doing and began to lag behind and, and fall behind the group and the crowd. And the Bible said, I am elect. Amen came along behind and, and destroyed those who were feeble and those who were weary and those who were worn. And that's the devices of the devil. That's the devices of the enemy. You see, the Bible says that the child of God is not to grow weary in well-doing. Hallelujah. Don't faint. Don't be worn and don't stop doing the mighty things of God because the enemy is going to and fro throughout this earth and he's looking for those who are lagging behind, those who are, amen, grown weary in the things that God has done them. But God has given us victory this morning. Listen, amen, we need to make sure that we know that our name is written in the Lamb's book of life. We need to know, amen, who we are in Christ Jesus. We need to know that we are God's chosen people. We're heirs of God and join us with Christ Jesus. We, amen, are blessed coming in and blessed going out. Hallelujah. In other words, just shake yourself today and examine your commitment. Examine, amen, your life this morning because God has given you victory. We are people of victory. We are victors in Christ Jesus. Could you give him some praise here this morning? Hallelujah. You see, amen, we are serving the same God that brought Israel out of bondage, the same God that split the Red Sea and brought them across on dry ground, the same God that destroyed 185,000 enemy soldiers for Israel. He is here this morning, and he's not a respecter of person. And what he's done for one, he'll do for another. Oh, listen, he brought me out of my past, and he made me a new creature in Christ Jesus. He made all things things new. He filled me with the sweet Holy Spirit. Glory to God. He's healed my body time and time and time again. He supplied my needs. Hallelujah. And what he's done for me, he'll do for you. Glory to God. Oh, fear not and don't be dismayed. You don't have to live in defeat today because God has given you the victory. God has given you the victory. We're no longer slaves to sin, the flesh, or the devil. You see, sin no longer has dominion over you. You're not under the law, but now you're under grace. 
You're under grace, the favor of God. We've been made new creatures in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are in Christ, then you've been made brand new. Glory to God. He, he wiped away your past. He threw all of your sin, your mistakes, and your wrongs as far as the east is from the west. And you have been given a divine nature. Glory to God. The nature of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lives on the inside of you. God has given you exceeding great and precious promises and you can now partake of his divine nature and escape the corruption that is in this world. Glory to God. Oh, saints, we are living in this world, but we are not of this world. We're citizens of the kingdom, amen, of righteousness, the kingdom of God. We are indwelled by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, who teaches us, amen, about the dangers of sin and about the blessings of holiness, amen, the Spirit of truth that leads us and guides us in all truth. God has promised his, this victory to the child of God. Oh, I tell you, my favorite scripture is thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus, who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, you may falter, you may slip, and you may fall, but you can still come, amen, faithfully before the throne of grace to obtain mercy for your failures and grace for a time of need. Oh, the Lord didn't save us to leave us in defeat. He didn't save us to leave us beaten and trodden and weary and enslaved by the flesh, but he saved us to set us free. Amen. To set us free. Hallelujah. Did you know that freedom is a choice? Freedom is a choice. Everything that God has done for us is a choice. We have a choice whether to accept the blessings and the glory and the presence and the, and the anointing that God has provided for us. We have a choice. It's, it is your choice today whether to live in defeat or to live in victory. Hallelujah. I tell you, I like to win. I like to win. I, I tell you, I was so upset when them Arkansas Razorbacks got beat. I, I tell you, I like to win. And I know some of you out there, I, I've seen y'all get a little flustered and a little blah, uh, get a little uh, uh, upset when you play in horseshoes and somebody beats you or so you, uh, uh, something else. I mean, I, I know the competitiveness in your life. Amen. I like to win. And listen, as we choose Jesus Christ and as we choose to live holy before him, as we choose to live righteous before him, then we are victors every time. Glory to God. You see, it is the victory that he has given to all who walk according to his word and according to his will. Listen, Joshua had the victory promised. He had the victory promised. He had already went to the Lord. He already received the word of God. He already received the witness of the Lord and the directions and the instructions of the Lord. And he had the, the victory promised, but he had to carry out, amen, he had to carry out what God had told him to do. Now think about this. When they went forth and they fought Jericho, when they went forth and fought Jericho, the Lord had instructed them, amen, to march around the wall six days and utter not a word. Amen. And so they marched around the walls of Jericho for six days and they didn't say anything. But then on the seventh day, they were to walk around the walls six times on that day. And then on the seventh time, as they marched around the wall, they were to begin to shout and praise and honor the Lord. And the Bible said when they fulfilled and carried out the instruction of the Lord that the walls of that great city 
city. They fell flat to the ground, and the Israelites walked across, amen, and defeated Jericho. And then he told them and instructed them not to take any spoils from that city, amen, to burn and to destroy everything that is in the city, not to bring out anything. But we know that there was one in the camp, amen, that decided on his own, amen, to take some silver and to take some garments and to take a little gold and to hide it in his tent. But the Lord, amen, has an all-seeing eye. He saw the sin of Achan, amen. And glory to God, God ministered and moved upon him. And Achan and his family lost their lives because of disobedience, because they would not wait and upon the instruction of God. And then when God told Joshua to go to Ai and to fight, amen, if you'll read this chapter, he told them that when you go in, destroy everybody in the city, every animal, everything in that place, amen, but all the spoils belong to you. In other words, if he had heard the word of God and been obedient to the word of God and waited on the Lord, then he would have been blessed, amen, with everybody else. Sometimes we need to wait on God. We need to get the instruction and the promise of the Lord and wait, glory to God, upon the Lord to move. Hallelujah. Oh, listen, saints, today, if we're going to live in this victorious life, we got to understand the instructions of the Lord. In other words, we need the Word of God. You see, it's a lamp unto our feet, amen, to keep us from stumbling. It's a light that will keep us on the right path. It's quick and powerful. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. It divides between good and evil and helps us discern our thoughts to keep us pure and holy before the Lord. Just like a newborn baby, we are to desire the sincere milk of the Word of God so that we can grow and mature in Christ Jesus. Oh, 2 Timothy, amen, chapter 2 and verse 15 says, Study the Word of God. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of truth. If we live a victorious life, then we need the Word of God. We need the Word of God. Oh, we also need prayer. We need to commune with the Lord. You see, true Christians pray and seek God. They pray and seek the Lord. We are told to pray without ceasing. Amen. You do this by inviting the Lord to go with you. Amen. Throughout the day. And then as you make every decision and every turn through the day, amen, you've got someone to help you during the day. Glory. James 4 and 2 says that we are to, amen, pray without ceasing. Amen. We are to have not because we ask not. Excuse me. Amen. We have not because we ask not. God desires you to bring your petition to him. He wants us to knock and, amen, to ask and to seek for the promises of God. Oh, we need the Word of God and we need our communion with the Lord and we also need faithful church attendance. Faithful church of tendency. We're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves. Don't quit church and, and think that you can still do God's will. Amen. We have to, amen, stay faithful to the house of God. Oh, we've been teaching on unity, and we've been teaching as during this, this uh, series on unity on Wednesday nights. It has a lot to do with faithfulness and coming together in unity and encouraging and uplifting and loving one another and, and helping one another. And that's what the church is all about. You can't make it isolated. You can't make it on your own or you'll end up like those that, amen, the Amalekites, amen, came and destroyed. You can't make it lagging behind, but you've got to stay, amen, in the house of God, in the family of God. The Bible said that the Lord is coming back for the church. He's coming back for the church, amen. So we've got to stay 
in the church. We've got to stay in the fold, stay in the family of God. Oh, we're not to forsake. You see, a lot of things that we order today. I know that I have ordered things, and I know some of you parents, you know what I'm talking about on Christmas. You, we, amen, our wives, amen, they ordered all these 1,500 toys for them two kids of ours. And, our three kids, and amen, and we got all of this stuff packed everywhere in boxes and everything, and, and for some reason, we wait till Christmas Eve, amen, to stay up all night long, amen, assembling all of that stuff and putting it all together. You see, amen, there's some blessings and some benefits and some things that God has promised us, amen, that assembling is required. We got to put it together, amen. We got to uh, assemble it. We've got all the pieces. It's all been paid for, but we've got to put it together. We've got to assemble it, and that is the way for you and I. He has suffered and died on the cross of Calvary, hope. He's made provision for our spirit, soul, and our body. He paid the price. He paid the debt, glory to God. He ascended to the right hand of the Father, amen. He has sent the Holy Spirit to bless us and to lead us glory to God it's all been paid for the pieces amen are there glory and now we have to gather up those pieces and assemble them and put them together and the only way we can do that is forsake not the assembling of the self but come to the house of God hear the word of God pray and amen fellowship one with another and then glory to God amen the blessings will come Come. Hallelujah. Be faithful to the house of God. I think about the man who kept coming to the pool of Bethesda. You see, the pool of Bethesda was the place of miracles. It was the place where, where God had instructed them if they would come and if they saw the moving of the water. Amen. The first one that would get into the water would be healed. And so the story is that this man had been coming coming to the pool of Bethesda. He had been coming there for 38 years and he was still, amen, wrecked in his body. He was still needing healing and, amen, and but Listen, he stayed faithful to come to, amen, the pool of Bethesda and one day Jesus showed up. Jesus showed up and his body was healed. He received what he needed. Well, the Bethesda means the house of mercy. Amen. It means the house of mercy. Oh, listen, saints of God. Amen. Some of you here today may have a promise. You may have a blessing that you have not received. Amen. And you've been coming to the house of God for weeks and, and months and for years. Glory. Don't stop coming. Don't forsake. Amen. The assembling of yourselves to the house of God because this could be the very day. Oh, saints of God. Oh, be faithful. Amen. To the house of God, the house of mercy. Hallelujah. Everything you need is in the house. Everything you need is in the house. There's forgiveness. Amen. There's deliverance. There's provision. There's infilling. Amen. There's glory. Everything you need is in the house. Oh, saints of God, you can't make it, amen, living a carnal life. You can't make it living a carnal life. Oh, I've had those that call. Amen, they call. Hadn't been to church in months. Hadn't been to church in years. And they're crying, Pastor, I don't know what to do. I'm messed up. I'm messed up. I can't hear the voice of God. I can't, well... Well, you need to, amen, make a choice. You need to make a choice for victory. A choice, amen, that you're going to live for the Lord. Oh, listen, everything you need is in the house. Listen, there's good things that goes on at church. Good things. I was saved at church. I was filled with the Spirit at church. I was healed of cancer at church. I got my sugar booger at church. There's good things happen 
at church. I can't ever figure out why anybody in the world, Brother Terry, anybody in the world would go to a bar looking for a wife. Why would you go to a bar or a dance hall looking for a wife? Why would you go out into the depths of sin looking for a wife? Listen, saints, I'm telling you, if I wanted me a, hey, oh, if I was, hey, man, I, well, I better, I better not use me for an example. Hey, Amen. <laughs> because I already got, I already is got one. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. I saw that eye cut around. She gave me the stank eye. The stank eye. You ever had the stank eye? She gave it to me. Amen. Listen, amen, to go to the house of God and get you a, a Holy Ghost filled woman, a blood bought, spirit filled saint of the living God. Amen. Who will pray for you, who will encourage you, who will uplift you. Glory to God. I want somebody that's blessed of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I went to, oh Lord, I done messed this one up, ain't I? I went to the house of God. Don't forsake the assembling of yourself, but be faithful to church because you need the constant fellowship of the saints of the Lord. Oh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 27 says, Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. Oh, we suffer. The church suffers when you're not here because you are a member. You are a part of the body. You see, Joshua couldn't have won that battle by himself. He couldn't do it by himself. He needed, hey amen, everyone to pitch in and to be obedient to the will and the way of the Lord. And we can't win the war of flesh and sin and the world on our own power, but we have to have the power of God. Power of God. Oh, Paul said to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen. We can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Oh, listen, just hold your ground. Hold your ground in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, he hath no, uh, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Oh, John said, you are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Oh, the world won't tell you things like that. The world won't encourage you. The world will kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus Christ came that you might have life and life more abundantly. You see, we all win through the power of God's Spirit. Listen to your pastor today. Your victory is a done deal. It's a done deal. First John 5 and 4 says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. But the victory that has been paid for is a choice. It's a choice. Will we receive it or we walk in defeat? Oh, it may sound impossible, but this is true. Our victory is not determined by the outcome. The world looks at victory by the outcome, but God looks at victory Amen. Of the income. It's determined by the income. In other words, it's determined by faith, by your heart and by your life and how you come out of the fight. Glory to God. Amen. Listen. Amen. You may go into a fight. Amen. And come out with half your hair missing, your teeth knocked out, beaten, bruised, and battered. But if you come out of that thing smiling, saying there's victory in Jesus, amen. there's power in the Spirit, amen, in other words, you won the fight because the battle is not on the outside. The battle is in the heart and in your life. Keep your trust in God. Stay in the Word of God. Stay on your knees in prayer. Amen. Stay faithful to the house of God and choose victory. Choose 
Victory, hallelujah. Listen, amen. In Christ Jesus, we are victorious. In Christ Jesus, we are victorious. He supplies all of our needs according to his riches in glory. We're the head and not the tail. We're above and never beneath. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We are victorious. I wonder today, what struggles are you facing? What struggles in life are you facing? Has the enemy tried to isolate you and tried to steal, kill, and destroy? Amen. What God has done in your life, I want you to know that the first step to recovery is the altar. Joshua went to the altar. He sought the Lord, and God gave him the instructions. God gave him instructions and the strength to go and to win the battle. Glory to God. Would you stand here this morning? Jesus Christ has already pray, paid for everything that you'll face in this life. And if you're here this morning and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, I want you to know it's already paid for. In other words, you're not putting the Lord out. He's already suffered and died. He's already made that provision for you. He's already done it. That victory belongs to you, but it's a choice. If you need victory over unforgiveness or over anything in your life this morning, it's your choice. It starts here at the altar today. Hey, Amen. It's your choice. Would you come and receive the victory that's been provided? Would you come this morning? I'm going to open these altars up and ask the church to come and spend some time around this place. Come and cry out. and if, if Just come and pray for your pastor. Hey, Amen. Come and pray for the church. Come and pray for our community. But if you're here this morning and you need victory over anything in your life, amen, would you come and receive what God has already provided? Amen. As they begin to sing, would you come this morning? Hallelujah.